Palembang cuisine is the cuisine of the city of Palembang in the South Sumatra province of Indonesia. It is the second most well-known cuisine from Sumatra after Padang. Topic: <inaudible> Ingredients. Palembang cuisine primarily uses freshwater fish and prawns as key ingredients due to the paramount role of the Musi River for the area. Popular freshwater fish includes patin pangasius, bong hemibagris, lais cryptopteris cryptopteris, lele catfish, gabus snakehead, moss carp and garame gourami. Historically, Palembang waters were teeming with bolito giant featherback, and it has become the city's official animal mascot. It is valued for its succulent flavor and soft texture. However, due to overfishing, today the bolito fish are scarce and probably already extinct in Musi River area, because of its location that is not far from the sea. Seafood such as shrimp, tengari, wahoo, kakap mara, red snapper, and Spanish mackerel are also popular in Palembang. Besides freshwater fish dishes, there are many variations of dishes, snacks, drinks, and sweets in Palembang cuisine. Topic. Spices and flavoring Spices are also generally included although not as liberally as its same island counterpart. Palembang cuisine is noted by its preference to the sour and sweet flavor, as evidences in pindang fish soup, funky smelled tempoyak based dish made from fermented durian, and also kua kuko spicy sweet vinegar sauce of pempek fishcake. Those dishes are popular fare and often associated with the city. Influences Malay, Javanese, Indian, and Chinese culture has influenced Palembang's culinary scene. Pempek, Taquan and Mie Salur are the example of Chinese cuisine influence on Palembang. Pempek is basically fishcake made from deboned fish flesh and tapioca flour, which was a local adaptation of East Asian surimi fishcake making. While like most of noodle dishes of Indonesia, mie salur can trace its origin back to Chinese influences. It was popularly believed that Palembang preference of sweet flavor was due to Javanese influences that favoring palm sugar. Indeed, Palembang absorb many Javanese elements, including language and cuisine. For example, both Javanese and Palembang Malay dialects refer fish as ivik, and cooking method employing banana leaf package as brankas or brankasan, martabak Palembang and nasi minyak which uses ghee, on the other hand, demonstrate Indian cuisine influence in the city. <laughs> <laughs> Dishes Palembang dishes are well known for its extensive use of freshwater fish, its practice of making surimi like fish cakes as the base of various recipes, also the use of palm sugar, coconut milk, vinegar, or tamarind as flavoring agent. Examples of Palembang's favorite are Pempek, is the dish virtually everyone in Indonesia thinks of when mentioning Palembang cuisine. It is a dough of fish cake and tapioca flour which can be either boiled, fried, or grilled and is eaten with a dark, sweet and spicy sauce called kuko made from palm sugar and pepper topped with cucumber and prawn powder. Because it is actually a dough, locals have intelligently crafted them into shapes and sizes, as well as being creative with fillings. Examples include lenger long, carroting curly, kapal salam literally, submarine filled with egg, ada backquote and round and fried and pistol filled with cooked young papaya. Not every fish can be made into authentic palembang pempek. A real authentic palembang pempek is made of giant featherback chitala lopis as its main ingredients. However, since the species is threatened, an authentic pempek can also be made with several other fish such as striped snakehead chana striata, narrow-barred Spanish mackerel scomoromorus commerson, or snappers lucinus sp. Taquan, are small pempek balls served with fresh prawn soup, cellophane noodles, and ear mushrooms, often portrayed as the Palembang version of bakso. Model, are a variety of pempek with tofu fillings served with fresh prawn soup and cellophane noodles model ivik. The pempek ingredients can be substituted with fried bread model gendam. Laksan, are thick sliced pempek lenger poured with spicy coconut milk and served with prawn powders. Selampungan, are like laksan but with large-sized taquan balls instead of sliced pempek. 
Mie salur, are yellow noodles like Japanese soba poured with coconut milk, prawns, and boiled egg. Burgo, are rolled pancakes made of rice flour which are sliced and served with coconut milk soup, snakehead fish or powdered prawns. Lakso, are like burgo but with rice noodles. Martabak har, is an egg martabak eggs dropped into the flattened dough before folded while frying served in curry usually diced potatoes in beef curry and topped with chilies in sweet sour soy. It was popularized in Palembang by an Indian Indonesian named Haji Abdul Rozak in 7 July 1947, giving his initials to the dish name. Nasi minyak Palembang Malay for oily rice is a Sumatran dish of cooked rice with minyak samin ghee and spices. Pindang patin, is spicy iridescent shark boiled with spices and usually served hot with sliced pineapple. Pindang tulang, is spicy beef ribs with little meat still attached to the bone, boiled with spices like pindang patin. This dish has a savory spicy sour taste. Malbi, is sweet dark beef tenderloin with spices. Tempoyak, is fermentated durian stir-fried with onion and chili pepper. Brenkus tempoyak ikan patin, is iridescent shark and tempoyak steamed with spices. Otak otak, is freshwater fish minced meat mixed with tapioca flour, coconut milk and spices then grilled with banana leaf. Snacks <inaudible> 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 Kemplang, are thin sliced pempek lenger which are dried under sun, then grilled or fried. Karupuk, are like kemplang, but the pempek dough made swirly and served after it was fried. Drinks S. Kakang Mara, are shave ices served with red kidney beans which is already soaked and boiled to remove their toxic contents, syrups, avocado, and sweet condensed milk. <laughs> <laughs> Sweets and desserts Q. Maksuba, is a layered cake which is mainly made with duck egg and sweetened condensed milk without any flours. Each cake needs approximately more than two dozens of duck eggs. After being properly mixed, the cake batter is thinly poured into a square cake pan then baked layer by layer. This cake was originally served as a royal sweets by Palembang Sultanate Palace to every honorable guests. Nowadays, this cake is served by many Palembang people during customary ceremonies or during Eid al-Fitr and sometimes Eid al-Adha. Q Delapan Jam, is a cake with ingredients like Q Maksuba also without any flours, but it's not layered and it is cooked by being steamed for approximately 8 hours instead of baked. This cake is also often served to honorable guests, during customary ceremonies, or during Eid al-Fitr and sometimes Eid al-Adha. This Palembang original cake is also frequently served as a serving for VIPs and for celebrating Eid al-Fitr. Q Bolu Kojo, is a green sweet cake with eggs, sweet condensed milk and pandan leaves as its main ingredients. As opposed with Q Maksuba and Q Delapan Jam, this cake uses wheat flour. This cake is served to honorable guests, during customary ceremonies, or during Eid al-Fitr and sometimes Eid al-Adha. Q Srikayo, is a steamed dessert with eggs and pandan leaves as its main ingredients. It's usually served with glutinous rice. <laughs> 